Hi there, for this video, we are tasked to find the smallest integer n such that this given expression will be a perfect cube. So the first thing that we will do to solve this is to factor out 2 raised to 9 out of this expression. But before that, we first note that we can actually write 2 raised to 10 as 2 raised to 9 times 2, 2 raised to 12 as 2 raised to 9 times 2 cubed, and 2 raised to n as 2 raised to 9 times 2 raised to n minus 9. So we can do this since there is a law on exponent that states that to simplify this, we simply add their exponents. And adding their exponents would give this one. So this is a valid factoring of that one. So we can write the expression above as 2 raised to 9 times the quantity 1 plus the one left is 2. So we write 2 out here plus 2 cubed plus 2 raised to n minus 9. And then Next thing we do is we simplify this expression out here. But first, we note that 2 cubed is equal to 8. So simplifying this, we will have 2 raised to 9 times 1 plus 2 plus 8 is 11 plus 2 raised to n minus 9. And so this is our expression so far. And from here, we can actually observe that 2 raised to 9 is actually already a perfect cube. Since we can express this as 2 cubed raised to 3. By that this one is by applying the laws another law on exponents. And so when we get the cube root of this one, we can see that we can simply cancel the cube root as well as the exponent 3. And then we will have this one which is valid since 2 cubed is an integer. So we have found a perfect cube, which is 2 raised to 9. So our only concern is to make this one out here a perfect cube. So to do that, we first let x equal n minus 9 out here. Then we will have 11 plus 2 raised to x. So again, our goal is to make this one a perfect cube. Now first, note that if x is less than 0, then this exponent will become negative. So this will become 11 plus 1 over 2, um, say y, wherein y is a positive exponent. So it became a reciprocal since x will become a negative exponent. Now observe here that this one is problematic since for this expression here, for this one to be a perfect cube, it must be an integer. But since it becomes a fraction, then it cannot be an integer. So we cannot consider cases wherein x is less than 0. Now, if you consider x equals 0, then the expression will become 11 plus 2 raised to 0, which is equal to 11 plus 1, which is equal to 12, which we know to be not a perfect cube since this one factors into 2 squared times 3. So there is no perfect cube out here. If x is equal to 1, then we have 11 plus 2 raised to 1, which is equal to uh, 13, which is also not a perfect cube since 13 is prime. If x is equal to 2, then 11 plus 2 squared would give us um, 15, which is... Again, 
not a perfect cube since this one factors into 3 times 5. So not a perfect cube. If x is equal to 3, then we have 11 plus 2 cubed, which is equal to 11 plus 8, or 19, which again is not a perfect cube since 19 is a prime number. For x equals 4, we have 11 plus 2 raised to 4. This one is equal to 11 plus 16, which is equal to 27. And note that we can actually write 27 as 3 cubed. So, we have already found a value of x that would make this expression out here a perfect cube and that is x equals 4. Now since we are tasked to find the n out here, then we go back to this one out here. So by letting x equals 4 here, we will have 4 is equal to n minus 9. By algebra, algebraic manipulation, we will have n to be equal to 13. And this one is actually the final answer. So that is how we solve this problem. Note that we are sure that x is the least positive integer n out here since we have tried all the possibilities before it and we have shown that none of those numbers before it can make this one a perfect cube. So getting that x goes out here, then we are able to get the value of n. So that is how we solve this problem. It's like a mixture of exponents as well as some factoring algebra and some ideas on cube, perfect cube, and some trial and error. So I hope you had fun answering this problem. Feel free to comment down below any clarification or questions on this problem and also feel free to share your solutions on how you answered this one. And yeah, that's basically it. And that is all for this video.